Hey guys, Jonathan Feist here with DroneRush.com. We're at InterDrone 2017. We're about to sit with Natalie Chung of Intel to talk about the Shooting Star drone and their air show technologies. Let's check it out. My name is Natalie Chung. I work at Intel as the general manager for the Drone Light Shows. And what the Drone Light Show is all about is creating magic in the sky. So we have controlled flying lights, also known as drones, where we put tens, hundreds, um, even up to 500 drones up in the sky, all controlled by one pilot. Um, and these are the Intel Shooting Star drones. So we've done a lot of different shows in the past. The Super Bowl, Coachella, um, we've done a few private events as well. But um, we've actually just been in Asia the last past um, shows, in Indonesia doing the countdown to the Asian Games, in Singapore with the National Day Parade, and also in Japan for a theme park show. We had done a Guinness World Record of 100 um, two years ago, and we said, well, how do we, what is some number that we want to do that, you know, it's not 101, it's not 102, let's go for something big, it's 500. Um, with our technology, we can go above that. It's just a question of what is interesting for the customer. We found that a lot of customers who want to do these shows, they want to do certain animations where maybe 500 isn't needed. We've actually started doing 300 for most of these shows because that's the right amount of drones that are needed for the space as well as for the animation. This is the Intel Shooting Star drone. It's 330 grams. Um, it can have four different colors, so red, green, blue, and white, which creates four billion color combinations. And to turn it on, it's just as simple as, as this. So it lights up, and then you'll see it cycle through. But um, we, Intel has been in the space for a couple of years, and we're focused on being experts in drones, and how do you build drones. And when we talk about drones in general, it's not just the hardware and the mechanicals, it's the software too. And that's what Intel's mostly focused on, bringing in new technologies to solve different solutions and problems. So this is the second generation of the Intel Shooting Star. Um, the first one was a little bit taller, um, but uh, this one is, we've done a lot of thought process and also a lot of um, learnings from different shows as to how do you make this better, how do you make this more safe, um, what are um, some ways to endure longer flight times. And this is why we came out with the new Intel Shooting Star Gen 2. <laughs> um, unfortunately, not too soon. Um, we are doing this as a full service end to end. So, you know, our hardware, our software, it's all developed by Intel. Um, we have um, pilots that we've trained ourselves who have, um, you know, the FAA pilot's license, but also are fully well trained on how, how to fly our ships. Um, there's a lot of technology behind the scenes to make a simple four to seven minute animation. So it's, it's really interesting, right? Um, when you think of drones, um, come 12, year, 12 months ago, right? Drones had a very different connotation as it does now. Um, and what we're trying to do is help solve that problem. We want to showcase that drones can be used for good. That um, a drone does not mean that it's an aerial photographer or a videographer, right? Um, it, it doesn't mean that it's commercial, even though it's a big space for us. Um, it can mean that it can change a fireworks industry, which has been a huge tradition in the past. Um, what we're also uh, thinking about, and the reason why we're doing this, is the technology behind this drone light show. So multiple drones per pilot, that's something that's very key in this industry. Um, we believe that it can be used for search and rescue in the future. Would you rather have one drone looking out for you, or would you have want to have tens or hundreds, right? Um, and it can be used for inspections, it can be used for sur uh, surveying a bridge, right? Um, it can be used for construction. So I think there's a lot of different opportunities, which is why we're trying to innovate in this space, showcase it in something as beautiful as a light show, but we believe that technology can help us in the, in the more important businesses of Intel, which is the commercial space. The ground control station is specifically just used for a drone light show, so we haven't um, integrated any other payloads. Um, it's something where we're more focused on the precision and accuracy of the drone and how do you make that better? How do we make sure that the LED is the right brightness and improving our products? Um, one of my visions for drone light shows is to go globally, um, to, to scale where it becomes as common as fireworks or where you can see it in as a proposal or part of a wedding. Um, 
I'd love to see that. I'd love to see more drone light shows. We've been doing at least one a month. Um, sometimes we do two to three. Um, and we, we try to, we know that the drone market is always rapidly going and going, and we need to do that too. So I'd love to see more shows. I'd love to bring them to the Bay Area, to Oregon, um, and just make sure that everyone gets a chance to see it. I got into the drone space um, randomly, actually. Um, I was working uh, on a different project, and drones was more of a pet project. Um, the first drone I flew um, was a Kickstarter drone that I had built, and it, it did crash. <laughs> um, but it, it was really thrilling just to see the drone fly up in the sky and see, see it actually all work. I'm, I'm an engineer by heart and I love how the technology is built and how simple it makes a pilot for you and me to fly. Um, and it was a hallway conversation that started off with drone light shows. Um, you know, we, we were joking around and we were like, oh, wouldn't it be cool to put a hundred drones up in the sky and form, you know, of course, marketing Intel logo. And what if we did it in the Bay Area? What if we, what if we did it at our campus? Um, and we started thinking, well, wait a minute. That would be very interesting. It could be a new form of entertainment. It could be a new form of fireworks. Um, if you add music, if you choreograph it, how do we actually get this done? So we started looking into how do we put 100 drones up in the sky, what technology do we need? Um, and we actually did that in November 2015 in Germany. Got the Guinness World Record there. And after that, it blew up. There were so many different opportunities and um, engagements where we could showcase drone light shows and how it, it really changes the entertainment section um, and how it can become an enhancement or replacement to fireworks. Um, there's countries where fireworks are illegal, right? Um, and then we also said, well, this can be something different too. It can be branding in the sky. Having the Intel logo in the sky, 360 degree view, everyone can see it. What if we did that for, say, Pepsi at the halftime Super Bowl show, right? Um, Super Bowl halftime show. Um, there's a lot of opportunities where, you know, you can use these controlled flying lights to do something that no one else has done before. Thank you. It was great talking with you. A huge thank you to Natalie for walking us through the Shooting Star drone and the entire Intel Entertainment program. Be sure to stay tuned for more from InterDrone 2017 hit that thumbs up if you like what you see here. Subscribe and hit that bell icon if you'd like to see what we have coming next. Thanks all. Take care.